Okay, in this video I want to consider the Fibonacci numbers. So they're defined by this very uh, well-known recursion. So we have f of zero equals zero, f of one equals one, and then we have this two-step recursion. f of n equals f sub n minus one plus f sub n minus two for all n bigger than or equal to two. And so our main goal for the video is to find this sum n equals zero to infinity of f sub n over two to the n. And we're going to do this two different ways. We're going to do this first with a generating function, which I think is maybe the standard way. As a bonus to that, we're going to find the sum of um, n goes from 0 to infinity of n times f sub n over 2 to the n. And then we're going to use this double sum technique, which I just learned in a uh, very recent video by Blackpin Redpen, so I'm pretty excited about uh, to check that out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at this generating function approach. Um, so what we want to do is set this function capital F of x equal to the sum n equals zero to infinity of f sub n x to the n. In other words, it's the power series whose coefficients are the Fibonacci numbers. So I'll let you guys try to figure out exactly where that converges and um, the place where that converges does include this half that we'll obviously plug into this. Um, but I'm not going to do that in this video. That's actually a nice, um, it's a nice exercise to do on your own. So now what I want to do is make use of this recursion, but notice that this recursion only picks up for n bigger than or equal to 2. So what I want to do is rewrite this um, where I take the first two terms out, and then I leave myself with only the terms where n is bigger than or equal to 2. So I'll take the first term out, which is a 0. I'll take the second term out, which is a 1 times x to the 1, plus, now I've got the sum n equals 2 to infinity of f sub n x to the n. Okay, now what I'm going to do is apply my recursion to that last sum. So that means I get the following. I get x plus the sum n equals 2 to infinity of f sub n minus 1 plus f sub n minus 2 x to the n. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll split this up into two sums. So I've got x plus the sum n equals 2 to infinity of f sub n minus 1 x to the n plus the sum n equals 2 to infinity of f sub n minus 2 x to the n. Okay, great. Now the next thing I want to do is re-index both of these things. So I want to re-index both of these things so I have a f sub n. So in this case, I want to replace n with n plus 1, and in this case, I want to replace n with n plus 2. So let's see what that gives us. That's going to give us x plus the sum n equals 1 to infinity of f sub n x to the n plus 1. Great. And then plus the sum n equals 0 to infinity of f sub n x to the n plus 2. And now I'm going to do a couple of things all in the same step. First of all, I'm going to change this so that it starts at 0. And I can do that with no cost because f sub 0 is 0. And all that entails is adding a f sub 0 in here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this plus 1 and I'm going to put an x out front. That's just like factoring it out. And then over here I'm going to erase this plus 2 and I'm going to put an x squared out front. And now the important thing to notice is that this term is our capital F of X, and this term is also our capital F of X. So let's see this um, functional equation we have. So we have capital F of X equals X plus X capital F of X plus X squared capital F of X. Okay, cool. Now what we can do is move all of these terms with the capital F of X over to the left-hand side, and that's going to give us capital F of X times the quantity 1 minus X minus X squared equals X. In other words, we have capital F of X equals X over 
one minus x minus x squared. Now we could use partial fractions to turn that into a geometric series which we could expand um, and you could find the closed form of the Fibonacci numbers, but that's not our goal for this video. Okay, great. Now what we're gonna do is pull this up to the top and then after we pull this up to the top, um, we'll finish it off. Okay, so let's recall that we had uh, found this closed form for the generating function of the Fibonacci numbers. We've got x over one minus x minus x squared and then our goal sum over here is just this function evaluated at a half. So that means we can calculate our sum very, very easily. So it's going to be one half over one minus half minus quarter because obviously uh, half squared is quarter, but now one minus half is a half minus another quarter is a quarter. So we've got one half over one quarter. So that's going to give us two. So this sum of the Fibonacci numbers over two to the n is two. So we're done with our first goal here. So we can take care of that. Okay, great. Now let's look at this bonus sum, which is n times uh, Fibonacci number over two to the n. But now notice, given the fact that we have the sum n equals zero to infinity of f sub n x to the n has this closed form x by one over one minus x minus x squared. What we can do is just take a derivative here and plug in an appropriate value for x. So notice if we take a derivative, both sides here, so on this side, we are going to get the sum n equals zero to infinity of n, f sub n, x to the n. Over here, we're going to get, I'll take the derivative, so we have one minus x minus x squared minus x times uh, minus one minus two x, and that's all over one minus x minus x squared squared. Okay, so now you can check that this simplifies to the following. So this simplifies to one plus x squared over one minus x minus x squared squared. But now notice our goal sum here, sorry, I forgot a minus one here. Our goal sum here has a two to the n in the denominator instead of a two to the n minus one in the denominator. So what that tells us is if we take one half of the sum n equals zero to infinity of n fn over two to the n minus one, that is our goal sum but that's going to be equal to this guy over here, which we calculated to be the derivative. So minus x minus x squared squared with a new two in the denominator we get from multiplying by a half. And now we want to evaluate that at x equals a half. And I'll spare you the details, but you get the number 10. So we're done with this. And now I'll clean up the board and we'll do this last technique. Okay, so now we're ready to look at this double sum technique. So in order to use this uh, really cool double sum technique, we need the following identity. So the sum from k equals one to n of the Fibonacci numbers equals the n plus second Fibonacci number minus one, which obviously we can solve for the n plus second Fibonacci number as that sum from k equals one to n of f sub k plus one. So that's easy to see. So now what we want to do is take our goal sum, rewrite it as a double sum using this. So let's see how that would go. So this is going to be the sum. Um, actually, let's call this thing S, which is the sum n equals zero to infinity of F sub n over two to the n. So now before we get started, we need to pull some parts out of this so we have a fn plus 2 here. So that means we need to start our sum at n equals uh, 2. So let's see, we can take out the very, very first term, which is 0, because f sub 0 is 0. The second term is n equals 1, which is going to be 1 half. And now we have plus the sum n equals 2 to infinity of f sub n over 2 to the n. Okay, fantastic. Now we want to re-index this so we have an f n plus 2. So we'll do that by taking n and replacing it with n plus 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 1 half plus 
the sum n equals 0 to infinity of f n plus 2 over 2 to the n plus 2. Okay, great. But now notice uh, we can take out a uh, one-fourth from that and we get one-half um, plus one-fourth times the sum n equals uh, zero to infinity of one over two to the n times f n plus two. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take this f sub n plus 2 and replace it with this using this well-known Fibonacci fact, which actually I proved this in my video on the discrete fundamental theorem of calculus if you want to check that out. Um, okay, so let's see what we get there. So that's going to give us 1 half plus 1 quarter, and now we have the sum n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the n, and now we're going to replace this f sub n plus 2 with the sum k equals, and I'm going to replace this 1 with a 0, because I can do that because f sub 0 is 0, so k equals 0 to n of f sub k, and then we have to add 1 to that. Okay, fantastic. So now let's move some stuff around to see if we can simplify this a little bit. And uh, notice here we get this is going to be one half plus one quarter times the sum n equals zero to infinity, the sum k equals zero to n of um, f sub k over 2 to the n, but now we also have this term where we're summing up uh, the number 1 as well when we multiply this through. So we also have one that's plus 1 quarter, and then the sum n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the n. Okay. Great. So now uh, it's well known that this sums up to um, 2 just by a geometric series formula. That's not too hard to see. So uh, let's see what we have and then I'll clean up the board and we'll move it to the top and finish it off. So we have S, which was our original sum, is equal to uh, 1 half plus 2, so that's going to be, um, sorry, 2 times 1 quarter, so that's 1 half plus 1 half, so that's 1 plus 1 quarter, and then we have this double sum, n equals 0 to infinity, the sum k equals 0 to n of f sub k over 2 to the n. Okay, great, so that's where we are. I'm going to clean up the board, and then after I clean up the board, we'll finish it off. Okay, so let's recall where we are. We have our sum s, which is our goal, the sum n equals zero to infinity of the nth Fibonacci number over two to the n. So this is equal to one plus a quarter and times this double sum. So we've got the sum n equals zero to infinity, k equals zero to n of the kth Fibonacci number over two to the n. And now what we wanna do is change the order of summation. And I've laid out a little key for how to do that. So notice we have zero is less than or equal to k, which is less than or equal to n, which is less than infinity. So that means when we change the order of summation, it will look like the following. So we'll have the sum k equals zero to infinity on the outside. And now I'm going to put uh, on the inside the sum n equals k to infinity. Great. And then we have f sub k over 2 to the n. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to factor out an f sub k um, because with respect to n, it's a constant. So we have the sum k equals zero to infinity of f sub k. And inside that sum, we have the sum n equals k to infinity of one over two to the n. But now again, this is a geometric series, and we have first term of 1 over 2 to the k, and common ratio of um, a half, so we have 1 minus a half. So in other words, this adds up to 1 over 2 to the k minus 1. Okay? So that means we can replace this with 1 plus a quarter, the sum k equals 0 to infinity of f sub k over 2 to the k minus 1. 
but now we're almost home free. Look, we've almost gotten back to our sum, but here we have a k minus one downstairs instead of a, a k downstairs, which is what we'd get if we did like a little change of indices here. So I can take one of the twos from the four, bring it inside, and then we'll be good to go. So this is one plus a half, and then the sum k equals zero to infinity of f sub k over two to the k. But now we're golden because this is 1 plus 1 half s. And if we look at the extreme right-hand side and the extreme left-hand side of this, this equation, that implies that 1 half s equals 1, which is obviously the same thing as s equals 2, which is the same thing we got from the other technique. So um, we're done with this double sum technique method. Okay, good. So uh, obviously this double sum technique method is a little bit harder than it needs to be, but you know, I'd never seen it before. And so this was a learning process of how to use it to make this video. And I think you could probably also do this with summation by parts. And maybe that's my challenge to anyone to try to do this with summation by parts. Now this is the end of the video.